Hey everyone, today we're going to give a quick overview of how you can build pixel perfect reports in Jaspersoft and seamlessly integrate the output into Yellowfin. I'm going to start in Jaspersoft Studio and create a Jasper report now. In this step, you can select a template to use for the report. Now, if you have custom templates that you'd like to reuse again and again, you can create them and load them here. Or you can start with a blank canvas and build a bespoke report layout. For this example, I'm going to select a simple one, the invoice template. Let's give it a name. I'll just call this invoice report. Note that every Jasper report has its own GRXML file, which we then drag and drop into Yellowfin after. Click Next. Here you can determine the data source that you'd like to use for your Jasper report. If you have not created one yet, you can click on New and create one with the wizard. I'm going to select one that I created before called Licorio, which is reporting on Iowa liquor distribution data stored in an Exasol database. Over here, you have access to the database schema and tables. Now in Jaspersoft, usually you would write the SQL query here to grab the data that you need for this pixel perfect report. A quick way to short circuit this process is to simply look at the columns and data that you need in a Yellowfin report first. In this example, I'm grabbing five columns, looking at the data, and able to get the SQL query straight away simply by clicking on the View SQL button at the bottom. And that's because every report in Yellowfin can make its SQL query available. So let's just copy that SQL here and paste it into the window here in Jaspersoft, saving you a lot of time from writing it from scratch, because all you really need to know here is the data that will power the Jasper report. And I'm going to select all the columns here. Click Finish and you're done with the data stage. Now at this stage, it's all about designing the layout and moving things around to how you want the report to look and formatting the data. Another example that we've done using the same invoice template is this tab over here. This matches more to a Licorio wholesaler invoice. At the bottom, you can click on Preview to see how the final version of the Jasper report looks like. And again, every Jasper report has its own JRXML file. Now, once we're in Yellowfin, all we need to do is simply click on the plus button, but this time using advanced authoring, we select Jasper reports. The data source will select the same one, which is the Corio. And then all we have to do next is simply drag and drop the JRXML file that we have into the window and click on create analysis. Once we have that, we leverage all the metadata within the Jasper report and pump the data through the data source, through this metadata into the Yellowfin report. And it looks exactly the same in Yellowfin. You can simply save it as per usual. And once we have it in the system, you can use it like any other Yellowfin report and leverage all the capabilities within the platform. So let's go back to the browse page and look at another example. This is a very simple profit and loss statement. Now again, we created this in Jasper reports and then loaded it into Yellowfin. The great thing about this is that once it's in Yellowfin, you have access to all the other sharing and distribution capabilities. For example, being able to export these pixel perfect reports to other file types. You can also distribute these reports to other users within the platform or email it to them, as well as embedding these reports into web portals or website pages using our JavaScript API. It's very easy to do that. Just copy this JS embed code and paste it into the HTML portion of your web pages. I've pasted this into this page over here and loaded that into a separate browser tab. As you can see, the pixel perfect report then appears in a page looking exactly the same. Now you can also broadcast this report to users and groups in a wide distribution. I'll just select myself for this example, type in an email subject line and a message. You can also choose the file type it's going to be attached as. I'll select PDF for now. And then you can select a broadcast frequency if you want this to be a recurring event. I'll just make it send once in this example and then submit. In a few minutes, you'll see it pop by as an email, but I already have one sent previously and it looks like this. And you can see the pixel perfect report being attached as a PDF here. So being able to broadcast the content you built in Jasper report to other users through Yellowfin as well. And lastly, besides sharing and distributing Jasper report content in Yellowfin, 
you can also include them in your Yellowfin dashboards alongside other reports and charts. And that's the email from the broadcast that we just set up before. Now, it's a simple case of just dragging the Jasper report that we saw earlier and dropping it into the Yellowfin dashboard here. It behaves like every other Yellowfin report and chart, so you can just simply drag it in, resize it amongst all the other content, and then save the dashboard. And there you go. And that's how you load Jasper report content into Yellowfin and use it in different ways and share it with other users within the platform as well.